Hi, and thanks for watching. Today we're visiting Howard County's new nonprofit center on Patuxent Woods Drive in Columbia. With me is Joan Dreesen, Executive Director of the Association of Community Services. Joan, how long has the idea of a consolidated nonprofit center been discussed, and how will this facility allow you to better serve your clients? The first effort to create a nonprofit center started over 20 years ago, wow. um, and they were focused on downtown Columbia, right at the lakefront, actually. Mm -hmm. Almost got the doors open, yeah. and kind of were missing that last funding piece. Wow. Uh, there was another effort uh, about eight years ago, mm -hmm. and that one, too, just they kind of ran out of steam on it. Um, idea came up again, and I guess the third time's the charm. Mm -hmm. um, we started in 2013, and we went out and researched how these nonprofit centers are developed. So yeah, starting in 2013, we wow. began this journey. Well, you did a lot of work, because I remember you met with me even before the election. <laughs> I'm sure you met with a lot of different people just kind of gauging support, and, and I really appreciate the way you helped me to understand the need uh, for the nonprofit center. It helped well, me a lot. We truly appreciated mm -hmm. how much you grasped mm -hmm. the idea and really saw mm -hmm. the logic to it, the rationale having one. So this is at the intersection of Snowden and mm -hmm. Brooklyn Land Parkway mm -hmm. in Columbia. Um, easy access easily accessible to both sides of Columbia mm -hmm. as well as other parts of Howard County because it's served by the bus. Can you give us an idea of some of the organizations that are good are part of here now but also coming here? Yes. So yeah. we have two anchor tenants. They're our largest tenants. Yeah. Um, Hope Works. Mm -hmm. um, and Hope Works has been really with us from the very beginning, yeah. from the very first thought of, of opening a center, they were part of this effort. Yeah. Um, the Housing Commission joined us in two th late 2015 mm -hmm. when it became clear that they would be separating from yeah. housing and community right. development. Um, so their two anchor partners, our two largest, um, and occupy about two-thirds of the space. Mm -hmm. um, the others are some of our smaller nonprofits, Making Change, which is a financial education mm -hmm. um, and coaching service, mm -hmm. um, Compass, mm -hmm. Howard County Autism Society, mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. of the initial people who said, yeah, I'm with you, I'm going to mm -hmm. be in. Mm -hmm. United Way of Central Maryland and Volunteers of America are actually two of the support organizations. We also have some organizations like Howard County Echo Works, mm -hmm. which does provide provides um, employment for young adults, but does a lot of storm management, landscaping, wow. rain gardens and the like. And Camp Out Away, which mm, is really? I didn't know that. Um, an organization that provides recre recreational opportunities for mm. children with emotional and behavioral disorders. With me now are two of the important service providers here at the Nonprofit Center. This is Kim McKay with Compass, and this is Jennifer Pollard Hill, the Executive Director of HopeWorks. Kim and Jen, tell me about the services you provide. Compass provides uh, employment, residential, and personal support services for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Mm -hmm. So we provide um, basically how they get out in the community, right? Uh -huh. So how they work in the community, where they live, uh -huh. accessing services. So we just support people in doing that. Okay, and this is is it 21 years and older? Or? Yes, for adults. Uh, for adults, That's okay. Serve. Yeah, Great. 21. Yeah. So HopeWorks is a local rape crisis and domestic violence center for the county. So we do a variety of services that are direct intervention services. Mm -hmm. We provide counseling, we provide emergency shelter, we provide legal services for anyone that's been impacted by intimate partner violence or sexual violence. And then we also have a robust community engagement department which uh, does a lot of prevention work and mm -hmm. tries to uh, help us all work together to understand how we can prevent this violence from happening in the first place. Wow. Well, wow, very important services. Now, now you're in a common facility here. Um, it, how does that make things easier for you? I mean, do you serve clients that maybe have to go to more than one provider? Absolutely. Um, most mm -hmm. of our clients need more than mm -hmm. one type of service. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's not uncommon that we're also working with the uh, Housing uh, Commission, mm -hmm. uh, the Housing Department, uh, Department of Social Services. We have partnered in the past with Making Change, who's also now a resident here. So we're yeah. hoping to increase that partnership in the future. Great. And so it's great for our clients to be able to come to one place and get multiple mm -hmm. services with one stop. What's been most fascinating is branching out and finding other nonprofits that our individuals can totally um, 
volunteer for uh, and yeah. engage with and kind of just be in the community with. Mm -hmm. um, EcoWorks is right next door to us. I didn't know much about them other than they existed, yeah, yeah. but meeting at the copier and kind of passing each other in the hallway and making those kind of collaborative connections, not only for myself as a Howard County resident, but for the individuals we serve mm -hmm. to really help them more fully engage in the community wow. has just been eye-opening and would never have happened without being yeah. in this common space. Well, that's really interesting. It really takes away those service silos. It's not yes. like you guys are all different places around the county. Absolutely. Now we're all working yes. together. Yes. That's really great. Thank you very much. The opening of this consolidated nonprofit center is part of my commitment to improving the delivery of human services and avoiding the service silos I just mentioned. By bringing all these partners together under one roof in one location with easy access to public transit, we are increasing collaboration, improving efficiency of space, and enhancing the visibility of these service providers. This is just the first step in the creation of a new Howard County Community Services campus, which will also include our Department of Community Resources and Services, the Housing Department, and the Office of Human Rights. For more, click on the link below and please share this video with your friends. Thank you.